Hey, don't stray too far. I'm taking enough tumbles for my liking. Wonder if Gunnar knows anything about this. Ugh, why me?
Hey, princess. Back already? Who's your plus one? It's Gnarin. I have a report to make. Yeah, I'll go get him for you. <laughs> Not every day you see the princess bring in someone from the straight and narrow. You her little boy toy now, or what? Wait, for real? Didn't realize you were her type. Actually, now that I think about it, wasn't that swordsman she threw down with on the Adamus also? Hey, what are you whispering to him about? Uh, just making small talk. I swear. What seems to be the trouble, Princess? An R. How many times do I have to tell you to quit calling me that? Oh? Who might this boy be? He's the swordsman Grimson told me to look into. A request from the Jarl? Ah, now I remember. He was a passenger on the Adamas. I see. So we have here not only a mana wielder, but a pair of mystical shackles. What's more, the latter has rendered you unable to separate from the former. That better not be a smirk, I see. Not at all. This isn't humorous in the least. It is, however, exceptionally unusual. Only the Jarl can make the final call here. Unfortunately, he is currently out at sea on an expedition. We do not expect him back until tomorrow. Tomorrow? And just, what am I supposed to do until then? Hmm. With all due respect, Princess, I must ask that you spend the remainder of your day here in Karnak. What? But why? It wouldn't do to have a non-shield brother accompanying us, for one thing. <sighs> this may even be to your benefit from a certain perspective. What better chance to familiarize yourself with how those under our rule live and think? I believe you're at an age now where such matters ought to be considered. Fair. Not to mention it is possible for this turn of events to be grossly misconstrued. In what way? There are those who would be only too pleased to regard this as a scandalous affair on your part. We have no need to voluntarily provide them with issues to raise at the Thingstead. I get the message. Adol, was it? My apologies for giving you a fright on the Adamas. I am Gunnar, war chief of the Baltus Sea Force. I'm recalling you correctly then. Your battles aboard the Adamas were very impressive. No doubt you have many thoughts on the subject, but collaboration is a must if you want any hope of resolving this. We Normans have our ways. Some of which may run counter to your own. Nevertheless, I would ask that you work in concert with her and us until we manage to set you two free. My apologies, but based on what I've just heard, your compliance is not a matter of choice. I will notify you as soon as the Jarl returns, Princess. Until then, travel with Adol and mind what he says. Don't you have that backwards, Gunnar? Why are you so trusting of him anyway? That you feel the need to ask is all the more reason to make use of this opportunity. The boy is, if nothing else, accustomed to travel. I expect he will be very accommodating. <sighs> I had best return to my duties. Take care. I leave the rest to you, Adol.
So, this is the Azrad Clinic. Some of our crew's been treated here. They do a good job, as far as I can tell. Who is it? I'll be there in just a moment. Oh, Dr. Flair! Welcome back. Sorry again for putting you up to that house call. It should have been my father checking in with Mr. Evelys. No, no, don't give it another thought. Actually, I stopped by to ask a rather, shall we say, convoluted favor of you, Mirabelle. Why, of course. What is it? Would it happen to have anything to do with the local celebrity standing behind you? Yes, she is the crux of the matter, in fact. Well, I can certainly see why that'd be a problem. It just so happens that we've been collecting used clothing as part of our volunteer efforts. There might be something in there that'll fit you, Princess. Ugh. <sighs> hmm? It no, it's just... You don't seem to be all that afraid of me. Our clinic has a policy of helping all those who are sick, injured, or otherwise in need. That goes for everyone, be they a Roman, a Spaniard, or Norman. And besides, in your case, I would be more than happy to help. Give me just a moment, please. There we are. Already. Step right in. I still don't see the problem with what I'm in now. This goes on the outside. You just put it on, like so. Hold it! I am a Norman warrior. How am I meant to keep an even keel in that flimsy getup? There's no need for that. Mirabelle can handle this just fine. Let's wait and see how things turn out. Hmm. You may be right that these clothes aren't as sturdy in comparison, but odd as it sounds, the right apparel at the right time and place can hold more power than you realize. Much like your mana, in fact. Huh? Clothing that suits the occasion can do wonders for your courage and confidence. For example, donning this nurse uniform fills me with pride and peace of mind. The outfit you're currently in has a similar effect on you, doesn't it, princess? <sighs> You've been told to spend the entirety of today here in Karnak. I'm positive the memories these garments hold will give you the strength to do just that. What one wears during life's biggest moments can serve as a memory in and of itself. So that's how you people see it. Fine then. One change of clothes won't kill me. Your words won me over. Even if that bit about memories went over my head. I knew you'd come around. See? What did I say? Indeed. Mirabelle is quite impressive for someone her age. I heard she even has a knack for getting all the children to drink their medicine, no matter how bitter. Dun -da -da -da! The time has come for the grand reveal! From fearsome pirate princess to cute as a button, I present to you, Karja! You call this cute? Drafty more like. Huh? Oh, right. Apparently my helmet didn't fit the ensemble. Actually, now that I'm wearing it, this is a lot more mobility than I thought it would. Consider me astounded. You're a miracle worker, Mirabelle. Not even I thought it would go this well. On that note, it's nearly time for you two to meet with the militia, isn't it? You should probably be on your way, Adel.
office. Ebreeze feels better than ever. Wonder if that's thanks to this getup. Still need some breaking in. It's not half bad. Uh, don't think that means I'm giddy about it, though. If I catch you leering, you're dead. Why is the militia all gathered up like that? Well, just hurry up and finish whatever. And you're absolutely sure they were dead? No doubt about it, sir. We dealt the fatal blows ourselves. It all happened so quickly. We looked away for only a second when... Battle! You showed up just like you said you would. Wait, who's the girl? Hey, things are tangled enough without you spinning extra yarns. Man, she's a real looker, huh? I've got a childhood friend myself. Remind me to introduce you sometime. Anyway, uh, thanks for making the trip over and all, but we're actually pretty swamped at the moment. Yeah, and it's almost too weird to be... Some pedestrians were attacked by a pack of wolves on the highway outside town this morning. Our guys from the militia made sure to stamp them out for good, but the minute they took their eyes off the bodies, the whole bunch of them disappeared. Maybe a bear came by and snatched up its next few meals? Whisking that many dead wolves away in the few moments no one was looking? Sounds kind of far-fetched. The most likely answer is that they were never actually finished off. But, I don't know. Isn't that man... So it's possible these wolves escaped with their injuries and are still lurking along the road. Yet despite that, the blockade was lifted, allowing several civilians to exit onto the highway. Do I have that correct, Commander Gulliver? <sighs> That's about the long and short of it, yeah. But no matter how you spin it, there's just too much about this case that doesn't add up. That's unusually glib coming from you. I understand the desire to stick up for your men, but remember whose shoulders the blame falls on should the worst occur. Now get moving! There are travelers on that highway who need protecting, our citizens included. Hey! I've just about had it with your selective hearing. Hmm? Commander Gulliver and the rest of the militia made every effort to kill those wolves and keep the roads blocked. But there's only so much we can do when we're constantly understaffed. The whole squad's exhausted. Each of us barely gets any time off. And it's all because you caved into the Normans and slashed our budget. Hmm. That's enough, Grin. But, Commander! <sighs> The mayor's right. Keeping the people safe is what matters most right now. We're in a race against time. I'm going to need every able-bodied member on... Yes, sir! My men and I will move out straight away, Mayor Clement. We'll report back as soon as we can. See that you do... All right! Let's get this ship. Sorry, Adel. Duty's calling. If you're still interested in signing up, drop by again after things cool down a bit. Will do. Catch you later. Huh? I'll admit this incident has me curious. Don't tell me you're bent on helping. Have it your way. So the militia headed for the Hagen Highway, huh? We can get there by circling back past the clinic. You want to follow him, then hurry it up. 